Okay guys, this video here, I'm going to show you how to do multiple parts on one stave. And uh, you're probably thinking, well, you know, you could just hit two notes at the same time and you've got multiple parts. But it's really, uh, there's a, a, a way to do it if you've got independent lines moving that can be a little bit more difficult. So let me show you. I've got a basic violin part set up here in D major. Um, and let's just go in and put a quick line in here. Let me turn the audio up so you can hear it. All right, and so if I just play that much, right, you'll play two parts like this. All right, and that's that's possible, but the problem is is that the bottom note always has to move in the same rhythm as the top note. You can't actually deviate. Like if I wanted this D here to be a half note, I can't do it. I could tie it, I could click that D and hit the enter key on the keypad, and you'll see that'll activate uh, so you don't want to actually put a slur here, but you want to put the enter key, and then that'll tie that over, but that still doesn't help you out. Because it looks kind of odd, and really this should just be a half note. Why would we write something like that? The only time we would do this, tie two quarter notes together like that, if they were, you know, is if they were crossing over the bar line. If they're in the same measure, we typically wouldn't do it. So it's not legitimate notation. Uh, and I see a lot of people do this. The way that you would have to you do this, and if you, especially if you're gonna write independent lines, is you have to use the voices. So instead of, you know how I showed you in the filter where we could filter top note, second note, third note, bottom note. There's also filtering down here for voices. And we wanna put these notes into different voices. And your voices are over here. And if you look at the keypad here, one, two, three, four. Now these do not correspond to any keys on your keypad. They, they actually blow. You gotta click on these to take advantage of these voices. The way it works, um, and I'm just gonna erase the second note down here. So let's actually highlight this, go to the filter, take second note down, and then just hit delete. So I can just filter out that second note. And instead, what I'm gonna do is click on that first note there, because that's where I wanna start writing an independent line. And you'll see these notes are all highlighted blue. So I click on that note, and then I'm gonna type an N for new. And when I type an N, you'll notice this little cursor appears here, and my arrow turns blue, all right, which means it's ready to enter notes. But before I do, I want to click on 2 for voice 2. Now you'll notice my arrow is green. And that means that any notes I enter here, if I enter an A, see what happened? The A is now green because it's set to voice 2. All these show up green. All of a sudden now, all of the stems for this measure flip to up because they now know there's an actual voice 2 here. Now I don't need to arrow everything in. I'm gonna also, I'm gonna, where the cursor is now, I'm gonna actually use my musical keyboard and put the rest of it in. All right, so let's do it this way. And you can see independent line now, top and bottom arrow, st or stems up and stems down kind of thing. And it's much more professional looking. So if I play this, And just like that, now we have a true second line, and that's important to know, uh, especially for those of you that maybe you get into some percussion notation too. And when we do the filtering, if I wanted to highlight this whole thing and go to filter, now instead of doing top note or second note, uh, if I hit second note, nothing will highlight, right? Because it doesn't know there's a second note. 
it knows there's voice one and voice two, and for each of those voices, those are the top notes. So what we have to do is highlight again, and in the fill term, now we go down to voices, and I can highlight voice two, and now you see that voice two is highlighted. So that's how you would do the copy features from with a multiple independent line uh, using the voices. All right, hope that helps you guys.